This is the Music History Today podcast for October 24th. On today's show, Adidas and Kanye have issues, The Wiz premieres, and two Beatles make history. First up, though, on this date in 1939, Benny Goodman recorded the song Let's Dance. In 1960, Neil Sedaka recorded the song Calendar Girl. In 1962, James Brown recorded his classic Live at the Apollo album. In 1962, same day, Frank Sinatra's classic movie The Manchurian Candidate premiered. In 1963, Bob Dylan recorded the song, The Times, They Are a Changin'. In 1973, John Lennon sued the United States government in order to get the government to admit that they were monitoring him. In 1978, the movie musical The Wiz, starring Diana Ross and Michael Jackson, premiered in movie theaters. In 1980, Paul McCartney entered the Guinness Book of World Records for becoming the best-selling artist in music history at that point. During that time, he had 43 platinum songs and sold over 100 million copies. He's added to that tally ever since. For his efforts, they presented him with a Rhodium album. Not even platinum. Rhodium. In 1988, Creedence Clearwater Revival's record label's lawsuit trial against former Creedence Clearwater Revival founder John Fogarty started. The record label said that Fogarty used part of Credence's song, Run Through the Jungle, which John actually wrote when he was in Credence, for his solo smash hit, The Old Man Down the Road. Fogarty eventually won the case because how can you actually be sued for a song that you wrote? That's a weird one. In any event, in 1993, Duran Duran canceled their tour after singer Simon Le Bon tore his vocal cord. In 2008, Jennifer Hudson's mother, brother, and nephew were killed by her ex-brother-in-law. Also in 2008, the TV movie musical High School Musical 3 Senior Year premiered on the Disney Channel. In 2017, Twiggy Ramirez was fired from the group Marilyn Manson after rape allegations were made against him by singer Jessica Adams. In 2020, Billie Eilish held a virtual live stream concert with Reality XR Effects. In 2022, Adidas cut their business contracts with Kanye West after he made anti-Semitic and pro-Nazi statements on the Alex Jones podcast. And in 2023, Britney Spears released her memoir, The Woman in Me. In classical music in 1818, classical composer Felix Mendelssohn performed in concert for the first time. He was nine years old at that point. In 1885, the Johann Strauss operetta Gypsy Baron was played for the first time. In 1948, the Francis Poulenc Sinfonietta was played for the first time. In 1959, Dmitry Shostakovich's first cello concerto premiered in America. And in 1965, the Benjamin Britten piece Voices for Today was played for the first time. In theater, in 1937, Broadway composer Cole Porter's horse fell on top of him during a riding accident, crushing Cole's legs. In 1963, the Broadway show 110 in the Shade opened. And in 2002, Billy Joel's musical Movin' Out opened on Broadway. In award ceremonies that were held on October 24th, in 1989, the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame announced their inductees for their upcoming class. Among them were The Who, The Kinks, and Simon and Garfunkel. And in 1996, Motown Records founder Barry Gordy received his star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Albums that were released on October 24th include in 1971 when Don McLean released his classic American Pie and the Grateful Dead released Grateful Dead Live Skulls and Roses. In 1975, Roxy Music released Siren and John Lennon released Shade Fish. In 1976, Rory Gallagher released Calling Card. In 1980, Orchestral Maneuvers in the Dark or OMD if you prefer released organization also on that same day cheap trick released all shook up in 1981 billy idol released don't stop in 1986 striper released to hell with the devil and warren zevon released a quiet normal life the best of warren zevon in 1988 dead can dance released the serpent's egg in 1991 brenda lee released a brenda lee christmas In 1994, Silver Jews released Starlight Walker. 
1995, the Smashing Pumpkins released their classic Melancholy and the Infinite Sadness. 20 Fingers released their self-titled album. Anthrax released Stomp 442. John Hyatt released Walk On. The Indigo Girls released 1200 Curfews. Simply Red released Life. David Bowie released The Buddha of Suburbia. The Pretenders released The Isle of View. And Bob Seger and the Silver Bullet Band released It's a Mystery. In 2000, Linkin Park released their debut album, Hybrid Theory. Also in 2000, Christina Aguilera released her Christmas album, My Kind of Christmas. Richard Marks released Days in Avalon. And the Spin Doctors released Just Go Ahead Now, a retrospective. In 2006, My Chemical Romance released The Black Parade. In 2011, Bob Dylan released Beyond Here Lies Nothing, The Collection, and Paul Simon released Songwriter. Singles that were released in the UK on October 24th include in 1969 when John Lennon released his classic Cold Turkey. In 1975, John Lennon was at it again. He released his other classic, Imagine. In 1978, the Bee Gees released Too Much Heaven. In 1980, Cool and the Gang released Celebration. In 1981, The Jam released Absolute Beginners. In 1984, Frankie Goes to Hollywood released Relax, Don't Do It. And in 1994, Sheryl Crow released All I Want to Do, her breakthrough song. Meanwhile in America... In 1966, Donovan released Mellow Yellow. In 1974, Aerosmith released Train Kept a Rollin'. In 1978, Linda Ronstadt released Ooh Baby Baby. And Bob Dylan released Changing of the Guards. In 1980, David Bowie released Fashion. In 1983, Billy Idol released Rebel Yell. And Pat Benatar released Love is a Battlefield. In 1987, John Cougar Mellencamp, now known simply as John Mellencamp, released Cherry Bomb. In 1988, Guns N' Roses released Welcome to the Jungle. In 1989, Madonna released Oh Father. And in 1994, Brownstone released If You Love Me. And Nirvana released About a Girl. Before we go any further, we'd like to tell you that there is now a Music History In-Depth podcast where we go more in-depth on a few of the events that happen in music history for that particular week. The Music History In-Depth podcast runs every Tuesday on YouTube or wherever you get your podcast from, as does our Music Halls of Fame podcast, which talks about a member of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame along with other Music Halls of Fame, museums, and walks of fame. The Music Halls of Fame podcast drops every Thursday and can also be found on YouTube or wherever you get your podcasts. Now, back to this podcast. Artists who were born on October 24th include Mr. Aubrey Graham. You know him better by his middle name, Drake. Also, Adrian Balon of 3LW and the Cheetah Girls, singer Monica, Ben Gillies of Silverchair, Bill Wyman of the Rolling Stones, Dale Griffin of Mott the Hoople, singers Paul and Barry Ryan, Edgar Broughton of the Edgar Broughton Band, Jerry Edmonton of Steppenwolf, Ted Templeman of Harper's Bazaar, singer Betty Swan, Santo Farina of Santo and Johnny, The Big Bopper himself, the late great J.P. Richardson. Blues musician Sonny Terry, Terry Buffin of British Lions, Kenny Shields of Streetheart, singer Daya, singer Liamani Segura, producer Zach Dossie, singer Ulysses Achides, rapper Xavier Wolf, singer Ray, singer Bobby Light, and rapper Eli Triplett. Artists who unfortunately passed away on October 24th include composer Robert Fabax, who passed away in 1521 at the age of 57. Composer Jean-Jacques Robson passed away in 1785 at the age of 64. Composer Carl von Dittersdorf passed away in 1799 at the age of 59. Composer Loisa Puget passed away in 1889 at the age of 79. 
Composer Paul Henrion passed away in 1901 at the age of 82. Composer Victor Holiander passed away in 1940 at the age of 74. Composer Franz Lehar passed away in 1948 at the age of 78. Composer Joachim Nin passed away in 1949 at the age of 70. Composer Frederick Jacoby passed away in 1952 at the age of 61. Composer Ernest Irving passed away in 1953 at the age of 74. Composer Martin Shaw passed away in 1958 at the age of 83. Composer Carl Ruggles passed away in 1971 at the age of 95. Composer Richard Sturzenegger passed away in 1976 at the age of 70. Saxophonist Sahib Shahab passed away in 1989 at the age of 64. Drummer Sid Pai passed away in 1996 at the age of 55. Kim Gardner of Ashton, Gardner, and Dyke passed away from cancer in 2001 at the age of 53. Composer Peter Eben passed away in 2007 at the age of 78. Flute player Masakazu Yoshizawa passed away in 2007 at the age of 57. Composer Moshi Akotel passed away in 2008 at the age of 65. Singer Mana Day passed away in 2013 at the age of 94. Singer Manolo Escobar passed away in 2013 at the age of 82. Singer and actress extraordinaire Miss Maureen O'Hara passed away in 2015 at the age of 95. Singer Bobby V passed away in 2016 at the age of 73. Rock and Roll Hall of Famer Fats Domino passed away in 2017 at the age of 89. Singer-songwriter Tony Joe White passed away in 2018 at the age of 75. Wawa Watson of Motown's The Funk Brothers House Band passed away in 2018 at the age of 67. And banjo player Sonny Osborne of the Osborne Brothers passed away in 2021 at the age of 83. Next on the Music History Today podcast, it is October 25th, when in 1984... Katy Perry was born. <laughs> 